All right, today's beer choice is the Iron Maiden Trooper beer, and this was from Trevor. Uh, Captain Calgary is his YouTube name, and he was the one that we did some work on his Jeep doing the JK Spring Swap in his TJ. So let's, let's try this Iron Maiden Trooper beer out. It's 4.5%. I've always been an Iron Maiden fan ever since I was a teenager. So hopefully the beer won't be a disappointment. Fucking Iron Maiden. Smells all right, but I don't know about you guys. That looks like a dehydrated piss right there. That's what I'm talking about. Anyways, motherfucking beer time. Oh yeah. That's got some motherfucking bite to it. It's been a long time since I had a beard, so I think I'm gonna try to grow the Bushman beard out. Yeah, this Iron Maiden beer is okay, but I don't think it'd be something I would drink on a regular basis. So anyways, yeah, another update on my surges. Like I said, it's been a week and a half, almost two weeks. Things are coming along pretty good. I was hoping to have like a motherfucking beer time out in the wilderness today, but still not quite able. I really want to take it to drive out because, you know, I'm good for short periods of time doing certain types of things, but it's getting better day by day. Uh, been lots of things coming in for some projects to keep on going. I've already wrapped up and finished filming one project I just picked up that you guys will see in an upcoming video, uh, which is going to help me out greatly when I'm out camping. So I've had people over the past little while message me about projects and I'm still open to helping people out uh, doing repairs in their vehicle. However, I will not do the repair for you. I will help you out. And uh, as long as we can do a video, that still stands. One guy had contacted me this past week on his Jeep. Um, I guess he wants, he's got a Rubicon Express four and a half inch he wants to put in. And he's also thinking of putting on a set of metal cloak fenders. So that'd be a pretty interesting project to do. Probably in something like that's probably not gonna happen until you know, it gets a little warmer up because I can't fit anything in my garage. So unless you have a garage that's heated or something, then maybe we could figure something out. So how many people own dogs here? I mean, I'm not against dogs, but what I am against is that when I went out for a walk today, I drove out to the ridge by my neighborhood because the sidewalks are pretty icy here, so I thought I'd walk along the path. But this woman was walking with her poodle and she just let the poodle shit on the fucking paved trail and didn't even bother picking it up. I mean, if you own a dog, pick up your dog's shit. I always, I was so fucking tempted to follow her home, find out where she lived, and then take a fucking dump on her fucking step in the middle of the night. Because I can't stand that. Especially when you go out hiking, people think it's because it's snow out, they just let their dog shit outside in the fucking woods, it's all over the trail. You know, pick that shit up. I don't care if you're out fucking hiking, pick it up. You know, it's fucking, that's the biggest thing that annoys me. I know quite a few of you have been asking when am I gonna get back to work on the 57 Chevy. I'm probably going to say a good timetable for that would be at least a month before we get back to working on the car. Um, that's more of a project I want to start doing. I don't want to start getting warmer out. There's a lot of work to do and it's not that I don't want to do it, but it, you know, you're kind of at that stage where you can't start seeing the final product yet. So you're not really motivated to work on it, but you plug at it a little bit here and a little bit there. Then, you know, once you kind of get past that halfway point, once you start to see the finished product coming together, then it'll start moving along. But there's a lot of body work to do on that. So some people have asked me about doing some videos on welding body panels. And I do have a mock-up version that I'm going to do. Um, showing you some different methods and some things that I've learned over the years that don't work. Uh, those will all be on my secondary channel. Hopefully in the next three weeks or so, uh, me and Aubrey are planning a winter camping trip out in Wipers, most likely, hopefully around the end of February. I believe I should be healed up enough by then to go out camping. Um, I don't know if anybody else is interested that's local wants to go winter camping. I think Fedor had mentioned he will, I don't know if his girlfriend Carrie will be wanting to come out winter camping, but something we're thinking about doing because it's something I've, I've never done is winter camped in a tent. 
I had a job interview over the phone this past week and they'll call me back. But kind of up in the air. You know, I kind of want to go back to work, but I kind of don't want to go back to work. And this shift is, is night shift between Monday to Friday. And you know, even if I do get a job, I just want to work until like June, July, and then quit and then take my whole summer off and travel, but I don't know. I'll have to see if I can survive without going back to work. It just makes things a little tight. Having a little extra money would be nice for sure. Yeah, for those of you who follow my Facebook page, yeah, there's a fucking woman that was murdered just down the street this past week. The forensic fan was actually there from Sunday, and they just left yesterday, so the forensic fan was there for four days. The cops, there must have been, at the peak, there must have been about 12 to 15 cop cars in my alley, and they were combing through everything, looking through people's yards, looking in the garbages, walking in the field and they're walking everywhere around here that are like go combing over my jeep and combing over my car and combing over every vehicle on the street looking for anything so they haven't really released too many details of what's happening from what i've been told that woman was a little batshit crazy to say the least i guess she's a little odd so it's hard to say what exactly really happened there um the police haven't said anything the news hasn't really updated too much besides for the fact that it was a suspicious death but if the forensics was there for four days uh police guard police watch everything there must have been something pretty serious happening i don't know what's gonna happen but uh, i did take some video clips and those are gonna appear in a much later video and i think after next week we're gonna go back to four videos a week because I'll, i'm actually well enough that I can continue to do things uh, during the day. So instead of just producing one vlog during the week, I'm actually gonna do two to keep you guys more updated and hopefully catch things up to bring things a little bit more current. But anyways, it's motherfucking beer time. If you guys have any questions or comments, post them below. And I wanna thank you guys for watching. And I know it's kind of winter time right now. Things are a little bit slow, but I promise you once the snow melts away, things are gonna get a little bit more interesting. So just bear with me. I'll talk to you guys later.